Play duro, play limpio, toco la mano, buena suerte. Uh, his counterattack is natural, hand speed, instinctive for him, and expects to show a lot of that early. Well, you know, Rigondeau has been considered one of the most proficient ah. amateurs of all time. So he's very proficiently sound, technically sound. You know, he closed the show when he needed to. Now he's got a new trainer, Ronnie Shields. He did have three fights with Freddie Roach, and happy to be part of Free BC. He said, nobody hides here. Everybody has to fight everybody, and he's glad to have his chance. A fight like this, even this, this early in a fight. I think he, he places his punches perfectly. He's accurate with his punches, and he places them right where they need to be at the right time. Yo! Oh, good right hand on the chin from Bell Diamond. One of the reasons you caught him is because uh, Rigondeau, when he throws his left hand, is it on the side of his face. Left hand of the body by Rigondeau. Okay. You know, coming up, he was, he, Rigondeau was his favorite fighter, so maybe he knows some things that we don't know. But yeah, Delgado, 11 years he's younger he's not, he's not. than Guillermo. Rigondeau, this is the first. And there's a shot. Rigondeau lands that. Rigondeau never went to the body before. It was always a, a, a boxer jab to the head, jab to the head, moved around. Ron is teaching him a transition. So the pro game is to hurt the game. Inside 20 seconds in round one. Super bantamweight bout. 120 pound range. Downtown Los Angeles, right before. And he's down. Oh. Rigondeau with a shot. Just before the bell ended round one. Ocho, nueve, diez. That's it. Round one is over. The fight is over. Oh, Caught him with an overhand left right on the button. Right at the bell. And before you could blink, Rigondeau landed his best shot of the night. And it was the finisher. It was. At three minutes of round one for your winner by knockout, the former world champion, Guillermo El Chacon.